welcome back viewers in today's video we are going to check out the market desktop of rtx linux so i have configured the market desktop of rtx linux in a virtual machine with mbr option along with swap butterfs as the file system and the s6 uh, initialization system so let us start with the market desktop so this is the grub uh, options so we get a fallback uh, kernel as well as a main kernel so we are now booted into the main kernel and you can see the s s6 init system doing its work it is initializing the linux system so in rtx linux i am trying to show you what different options are available for the partition system for the swap for the file systems and the different init systems so the different init systems come along with the different isos of the rtx linux and we are only changing the different file systems uh, swap and the uh, this uh, partitioning system from our side and from the side of the rtx the different isos different desktops come with the different uh, init systems so this is the greater screen of the mate desktop you can see it here the mate logo is there the mate session is the only session available so the different uh, desktops come with their own isos in rtx linux and there is accessibility features on the large text and high contrast is there they should have provided the on board or on screen keyboard keyboard also so i think uh, all the linux distributions should provide the option of on on screen keyboard on the greater uh, screen because uh, suppose some uh, something happens your keyboard is not initialized or it is broken or your mouse is not working so on board on board key keyboard is required and this is the power menu so on the login you, you already see the user that we have configured that is sam so now we will input the user password and then we will go ahead with the login so we are now logged in into the mate desktop so in rtx linux the mate desktop only has one panel so the top panel is at the bottom and the bottom panel is not used by the developers of rtx linux now first thing you have to do is to go in system preferences where is the displays yes so we will configure the resolution because uh, we should have good resolution yes now the desktop is panning the complete window that is available so now we can go ahead so on the desktop there are computer sans home and the trash icons and the panel below you have got this application menu then what is this i think this is the minimize uh, yes this is the minimize uh, all windows button this is the web browser let us see which web browser is there and this is the mate terminal so mate terminal will also start you can see it here i think it will be the latest uh, mate desktop version yes 1.27 it is the latest mate desktop version and this is the browser which browser it is let us see i think it is the gnome browser yes it is the gnome browser version 43.1 plus so quite latest uh, gnome browser is provided and it is light and fast you can see it here you can directly change from different uh, tabs it is quite fast nothing slow yes i get around the uh, 2 to 3 mbps speed uh, in my room 
the router has some around speed of around 15 mbps to 20 24 mbps it differs uh, during the day but since i lock my, myself in the room to filter out all the noises the bandwidth reduces to just 3 or 4 mbps but it is still good for browsing you can see most of the tabs are opening quickly not that slow and the browser is quite light so now i will close this this is the network manager you can see the network manager this is the simple volume control and you have got the calendar so that's it in the panel now let us uh, go over and check the different applications in the accessories section we have got ngrampa archive manager so it is a native archive manager for Marte desktops leafpad is there it is the simple text editor for the Marte desktop so Marte font fever is there Marte search tool and the text screenshot uh, application is there in the collections you got the Marte terminal and the gnome way in graphics section you got the eye of Marte image viewer Marte color uh, color selection is there in internet section you got the SSH server browser from Hawaii and the again Gnome web, uh, web browser is there in office section you got only the Atril document viewer and the Marte dictionary so though no office suite is provided by default so in all the Arctic uh, ISOs we have seen the office suite is missing if you can install any office suite of your choice in sound and video you can see the MP media player pulse audio volume control the video test utilities and the video capture, capture utilities along with the sound so this is the sound manager in system tools you have got the Hawaii zero configuration browser Kaja is there Kaja is the file manager hardware locality ice topo log file viewer manage printing it is the cups printing Mate disk image mounter then the Mate Disk Usage Analyzer, Mate System Monitor, Mate Terminal and the Power Statics. So let us first open a Kaja. Let us see the version. It should be 1.27. Yes. So the latest Mate desktop is there. Now we will go with the Mate Disk Image Monitor. Let us see. Okay. So this is the Disk Image Monitor. You can mount uh, any disk. For example, if you insert the USB. You can mount uh, the USB file system using this this image mounter, or you can uh, directly mount any ISO image. If you got any ISO image in your folders, you can use it to uh, mount that uh, ISO image. We will go ahead. Let us check out the Mate system monitor. You can see the system monitor activity here. CPU usage is. below 4 percent we can say 0 to 4 percent only 800 mb of ram is used no swap is uh, okay so the, uh, we have configured this with no swap i think that's why the swap is not available and the network history network is also silent now let us go over to the processes so we can check out the different processes of the s6 init system So you can see very uh, less number of uh, services or processes are running you can see it here so all this is from the mate desktop these are all mate services or the genome services now we come back to system okay so this is the file system you can see it here okay okay So out of the 21 uh, GB allocated to the root uh, root file system, 16 GB is free. So just 5 GB has been used for the Mate desktop. Now let us check out the power statistics. Anything is there? So right now no power statistics because it's a fresh system. So there will be no power statistics information available. Now let us check out. network proxy is there let us check out the appearance 
so in the appearance preferences for the themes you got artist dogs black mate blue menta blue submarine green laguna green submarine high contrast high contrast inverse menta traditional green okay traditional okay yaru green and the yaru okay let us try to change the theme so this is the change that is applied when we change the theme now let us go over to the blue menta okay blue submarine green laguna this is the change then green submarine okay high contrast okay let us try the menta theme okay now try the traditional green theme so this is the traditional theme of mate desktop this looks the best i think on mate desktop the traditional theme is the excellent theme they have devised then let us try the traditional okay theme so this is okay but the traditional green is the best theme i can find for the mate desktop yaru green let us try this this is also quite good looking theme yaru okay this is little bit uh, on the other side this is also good looking you can see it here icons are all properly done now let us try to check out the backgrounds so you can see it here yes so the backgrounds have come and most of these backgrounds are from the mate organization you can see it here you can try the different wallpapers this is how it looks yes this one is nice looking wallpaper i think it is the milky way this is a traditional yes this is from the fedora yes this is from the fedora linux looks nice on mate also just try this one this is also nice looking wallpaper and have this one this is cool looking this is also nice this is yes this is also a very nice looking wallpaper this is the mate wallpaper this is artix wallpaper this is also i think uh, mate wallpaper only most of them are mate wallpaper this one is traditional mate wallpaper yes so all wallpapers are nice not new but uh, they all look uh, nice with this uh, artix implementation of mate desktop this one was pending okay so everything looks nice let us go over to the control center so here you can see this is the traditional mate control center let us go file management appearance so it is nothing new is there all uh, the traditional mate control center components are there nothing new you name dash a so you can see the kernel version is 6.2.6 artix 1 1 artix 1 1 okay so it is a preem dynamic type of kernel now uh, you can uh, you must have observed that in all the artix linux uh, isos the 
graphical software manager is not there or the graphical software store is not there so how to install packages so we will have to use the pacman from the terminal so for that what you have to do is sudo pacman syu so that will update the system you have to input your user password so let us see how the update goes because in all the linux uh, different desktops you can see most of the things are common so there is no use in uh, telling you the same and same things again and again instead what i am trying to do is in the different desktop i am trying to check out different things so in earlier two desktops it was more uh, system oriented now i am using this uh, desktop as an opportunity to show you how to install and update your system in Arctic Linux. So this is the updation that is going on. You can see it here. So around 974.22 MB of uh, downloads will be done. Update downloads. We will check if the updates uh, are done properly or not. So this is a type of checking the system because uh, in some of the obscure Linux distributions there are issues with the updates. So we are just checking. Uh, this is not of course of obscure but we are checking this is a uh, very good uh, Linux distribution so there is very less chance of things going wrong uh, going wrong but we will uh, we will still check it we will give it a thorough check and after this is done we will try to install at least one package so you will get an idea how to install packages using the pacman so the pacman is not installed as a graphical software manager or software store it is all done from the terminal and I'll, of course i will uh, leave a link to the pacman uh, package manager manual from the arch linux so you can use that to get yourself acquainted with the pacman -Pac and you can be an expert in arch linux and you can also install PAMAC. PAMAC will, uh, it is a graphical software manager. So we can install that PAMAC also here. Uh, we will try it in uh, after the update is complete. Just wait for the update to complete. So it has detected, this virtual machine has detected the NVIDIA graphics card. So now it is uh, downloading the NVIDIA utilities and then nvidia drivers automatically so this is uh, this is how we check the behavior of the system so the different linux distributions will by automatic means it will install the novu drivers but here it is now it has detected the nvidia the novu drivers were already installed during the inst uh, initial installation phase now it is automatically download downloading the nvidia utils uh, for the system but only it is run from a terminal so there are no graphical utils available only the utils available from the terminal and you can see there is some uh, message to the user if you run into trouble with CUDA not being available run the NVIDIA dash mod prop first just getting updated along with the NVIDIA utils we will see that after the installation is complete
apps are coming up because we have not installed any additional software package so possibly this butterfs file system has pulled up this uh, kde components other than that i don't think there is any other possibility why this all kde desktop components are coming the qt5 even k wallet is been getting pulled up i don't know kio then the k completion k service k notifications so possibly due to the butterfs file system Six init after the update is complete, and it is updating the module dependencies. So the, all the system links and all those things will be get updated. You just keep a watch on this post transaction hooks, so you will get a more idea of the S six init system works. So now the boot image is getting built again. Okay, I think the update has completed. Let us see. The terminal is still okay. No, the terminal is still working. Yes, now the update is complete. What we will do is. we will restart the system once now you check for the shutdown verbose from the s6 init system what how the system get shut down it's very fast compared to system d now let us check out the advanced options so i think the new kernel is installed now Okay, so now we will input our password. So the scaling of resolution is perfect after the initial setting. Only you can see the wallpaper is still not getting properly scaled. Maybe it will after few seconds. Now it has split into four uh, wallpapers instead of one. Let us see. Okay, so wallpaper has changed. 
Now what we will do is we will open the terminal. Let us see. Yes, yeah, so the kernel has changed now. 6.2.13. Okay, now what we will do is we will install the AMAC. AMAC is a graphical software store. So let us do it. AMAC. Okay, what I will do is let us open a tutorial will be there. Okay. So Pamac will open up the arch tutorial. You can see it here. Duck, duck, go. And the default search engine for this uh, GNOME web browser is DuckDuckGo and not Google or any other thing. Okay, Pamac is comes. Yes. So we will open this. Amac is made by Manjaro. So I think we will have to install from the AUR. What we will do? Okay. What we can use this command. So I will uh, share the link of this with you. Just let me select the complete command. Now we will go here. Put the paste command. Yes. After this command is complete, we will use this command. So we will be installing the PAMAC from the its git repository using these tools. These are the base development git tools. So this is required to install any git repository locally on your system. So let this uh, packages complete installation. Okay, so now we will use the second step. Now we have done the second step. So we have cloned into the Git repository and uh, uh, the objects from the server side of the Git uh, repository is downloaded uh, and it is available in the local database. Now what you have to do is you have to change uh, into the local PAMAC uh, folder that is being created where these all objects are stored. Now you have to paste this. So now you are into this uh, directory. Now you have to make, you have to compile the code from the objects that are been cloned from the uh, blade clone repository. Enter. Now there is the disadvantage of using this method that is you will have to 
repeatedly clone into the git clone every now and then say every two three months you can clone into this you have to repeat this step so whenever any new version of pamac is there you will have to manually do this method to update it so it will not be updated from the uh, terminal just like all other system packages are updated but we have to use this system to update it so every time you will have to update you will have to git clone into the uh, server repository you will have to download the updated components and uh, make uh, the new exec executable for the PAM app. So you can see this is the method to make the executable for the PAM app software store. So you will be able to see the pamac store somewhere here let us see it will be available in the application menu and uh, now the make is make has completed now you have to proceed with the installation so the binary is ready for installation you have to confirm the installation so now it will configure the AMAC for the repositories. So the repositories that are available in Pacman will uh, be updated in PAMAC. Okay, so we are done with the installation. Now let us see. The PAMAC should be there here somewhere. Okay, it is done. Now what I will do is Is there? Let us restart the system once. I think it will be available now. Right. You can see the reboot was one of the fastest I have seen. System detects quite long compared to this S6 in it. We never any. Uh, we would never judge when the system got, got shut down and the new system was again rebooted there was very very short time in between the two events now let us see amac should be there collection graphics internet office acha is the mate terminal mate system monitor where it is it should have been installed let us try to open it from the terminal Yes, so the PAMAC is there, but where is the, you can see here the PAMAC data is there, but where is PAMAC? It should be there somewhere in this application menu, but it is not to be found. Okay. Let us check out the preferred applications. No, it is not there also. So I think it is not working here. Though the installation is complete, uh, it is not working. Maybe what we can do is let us try out the second method. 
let us check if it why it will work or not so this arch method to install the pamac is not working But this is quite tedious. It will have to manually add the repos in the Pacman configuration. So this is not recommended. Pamac command. Okay, once installed, you can access the GUI from the application menu. By application menu, it is absent. And command line menu. So in command line, we had tried this earlier also. Pamac. So I think the system path is not uh, configured. That's why it is not opening up. You can see it here. It is working here, but in our case, it is not working. So I think uh, possibly that we have done something wrong, but I, do, I don't think we have done. We have just copy pasted the commands. So that is not an issue. Let us try to, yes, we have done perfectly. Maybe we should try again once. Let us try to do this again. Maybe it will. So there is no upgrade or update available. You have done everything perfectly. You can see it here. Let us try to. We have done this. Yes, it is perfect. Then we did a grid, uh, this grid clone. So that is also correct. Then we did a CD Arch Linux upstream data. Yes, that is also correct. And then we did a make package dash SI. So that is also correct. So I think there is some issue with this RTX. Uh, the PAMAC is not uh, getting, uh, it is not working. It got installed properly but uh, it is not working there were no error messages during the uh, making of the PAMAC uh, executable so compilation was perfectly done there was no error only that it is not working okay so i think we will stop the video here i will leave the link to this PAMAC installation method for the arch linux so it might work or uh, we can install some other for example let us try to install sudo pacman dash s the norm let us try this software maybe it will work let us see yes the norm software so i think the genom software should uh, at least work get install and work let us see because this GNOME uh, software will work properly because this Smarty Desktop is based on GNOME technology so it should work perfectly here the Flatpak support plugin is getting installed because it is dependency for GNOME software along with the firmware update and the mal content that is the parental control plugin so that's great I think the where it is Gnome, Gnome, Gnome come it will come in system tools yes okay so that's good so you can easily install the Gnome software store you can see it here it is working here perfectly the PAMAC did not uh, in, uh, work here it was not available in the application menu though the compilation was properly done you can see it here that's it so you have got a graphical software tool for your rtx linux installation you can use uh, to install this gnome software in other uh, desktops also and for the kde desktop uh, you should prefer the discover software store so with this uh, if you want we can just check out the software sections so I think it will take some time to, yes, 
can see it here the these are some software packages for the work session of the genome store so with this i will stop the video here see you in the next video bye